Hello, once again, uh, YouTube, Chris and I bring her here, bringing you some, uh, Minecraft action, uh, but in a different sense, this is, uh, Tekkit, in fact, um, me and my friend have been, uh, building a whole bunch of crap, um, for the most part, for the most part, <laughs> uh, legitimately, uh, we built a house over here in this village that we found in this desert, and, uh, you know, I'll just show you around and show you what I've uh, we've accomplished obviously you could see the wall has been erected around the village to protect it and it's been lit up and stuff to prevent uh, creepers from well anything from spawning in here um, let's see uh, we have you know wheat farms and stuff like that it doesn't seem like there's many villagers left I have a cactus farm there's a chicken farm uh, over there, behind that building, is a cactus farm, because we need waterproof piping. Uh, there's my friend. Um, he seems to like cheating often, sometimes. It's really bugging me, because I wanted this to be uh, like a, a survival-only server, and he's been spawning in a few things every once in a while, and changing his game mode to creative, but it's okay. Um, so here's our house. We originally started with just this, and then he wanted a tower. Not sure why, so I built him a tower. <laughs> um, in case you're wondering, this is a Sfax Pure BD uh, texture pack. It is the only texture pack available that has support for all of these mods, which is the Tekkit bundle, like I said earlier. Um, so yeah, he made a tower. We had, um, you know, furnaces and chests in here, but then we decided to go underground for some reason and make a basement, and then our basement became, like, our main bedroom, and then it became our main storage area, and here's all the ores and gems we've collected so far. Uh, seven diamond. Those precious little things should be over in my chest. Uh, we've accumulated some decent stuff here, right? Um, I'll show you every aspect of what we've accomplished so far, and I might make a little let's play of this, I'm not entirely sure. It won't be as common as my other videos, but I just figured I'd show you it a little bit. Um, we got all sorts of building blocks and stone. We have so much stone we made an entire another chest for it. Uh, energy condenser, iron furnace is right here. You know, the works. We're still very basic, but it's okay. We have started to collect oil. Uh, ooh, why is this broken? There. Oh, I'm in creative. Shit. Uh, well, I'll just throw these down a dark deep hole so I don't have them forever. Um, this is our ridiculous oil pipeline. All legitimately obtained pipe. Uh, it was a bitch to get together. Quite a couple hundred cactuses had to be cooked, I think. Um, to make the waterproofing for that. In this other room over here, we have an automatic uh, smelting and macerating facility that I constructed. The uh, oil room, the oil pipe room, was all designed by my friend and he made that. It's pretty cool. Uh, in here, I have set up all of these things to sort out uh, different like uh, pipes. Uh, I'm not sure anyone that hasn't played this will understand what the hell is going on here, because it does look like quite a mess, and at one point a creeper almost blew it up. I, I almost shit myself. It was pretty, pretty scary. But, um, uh, all these chests have different uh, materials in them, uh, including coal, and they eventually get piped over here. The coal goes down, and through those pipes uh, beneath the wall, it goes into these generators, which generate the power for the macerators. And the macerators, you know, grind it up into dust. Uh, all of the ore, that is. They grind up the ore into dust. And uh, you can hear it working right now. Hopefully it's not too loud. Uh, and what those macerators does is it turns every ore into one dust, or two dust. Each dust can be smelted into one ore ingot. And that means I'm basically doubling my production with this room, uh, of uh, doubling my uh, output of mining supplies. So, you know, we have the ore coming in, there's uh, copper, this is iron, down here is uh, tin, 
And the last one is silver, but we are done with the silver. Well, we're not. Um, and you know, I just you can turn all these on, and once it's done smelting it in these iron furnaces, which are pretty efficient, uh, compared to stone furnaces, it gets pushed into these chests off to the side, and I can bring in all the ingots back up to my uh, chest upstairs that has all of the um, all of the goodies. So it's pretty badass. Uh, I like it. Um, that's honestly one of the few reasons I might use this mod. Uh, simply for that. I gotta put this back downstairs. Give me a moment. Um, I like it because it, it helps you get things done while you're not there. It also allows you to like become more efficient as time goes on. And that's something that Minecraft is really lacking. Even though you get like more stuff, it doesn't really make your life more efficient. It doesn't make it... Uh, I guess, yeah, efficient is all I have to say for it. Um, um, because you have to do everything yourself in regular vanilla Minecraft, and with this, you can just put, turn it on and walk away, and it'll be ready. Okay, what is this? Silver? Okay, and silver goes in there. So yeah, uh, that's, that's one reason I like this. I like the idea of all these complex machines working constantly to bring you stuff. Eventually, if I got like a quarry system hooked up to it, I wouldn't even have to touch it at all. Um, it would automatically uh, feed it um, more ore as the quarry systems expanded, and all I would have to do is move a quarry to a new location to get more materials. So I think that's pretty badass. I think it's uh, fantastic. Uh, let me just uh, put some things away real quick. Um, we have a uh, few mines uh, discovered. I'm going to turn it to day. I don't really care. Um, uh, we set up a cactus barricade around like half of the village. That's uh, simply because we don't want spiders coming in because everything else is protected. Soon we'll have like red power gates here. I'm pretty sure it's red powder that that mod comes with. Um, currently... We have an uh, oil pipeline I think my friend is uh, working on. In case you're wondering who that is, it's Undeath Spree from my World of Warcraft video. Uh, he doesn't like it when I say his real name online, so I'm not going to give away that information. Uh, there was oil here a few seconds ago, but I guess he pumped it all up. And now he's trying to get some of this, which doesn't seem like he's doing it right. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Um, he seems like he's having an issue. But I'm not going to bug him about that. For some reason, he's really quiet. I guess that's because I'm filming. Uh, this is where an old uh, oil well was. And uh, over here we have our first quarry. Nothing too big. But, you know, it's a starter thing. It's running really, really slowly. And for some reason, it's bugged out. So there's two arms. Oh, was that a creeper I saw? Yeah, that was a creeper. Okay. Get out of here, creeper. Um... Yeah, like I said, uh, the uh, this is running really slowly, even though it has four engines on it. They're redstone engines, so they're not like the greatest engines ever. So it's running incredibly slowly. But um, it is, in fact, filling up this chest. This this all this all got put in there in a matter of like an hour and a half, maybe two hours. Yeah. So um, oh, all right, good one. <laughs> Um, you can see I have waypoints. Over there is a cave chest base. That's probably going to be deleted because the cave chest is no longer there. But there's a ravine we found uh, over there. Way off in that direction, past that snow biome, is uh, another ravine with a mine shaft in it. I think that might have a stronghold connected to it as well. I'm not sure. Um, over there was the original cave we went into. Um, also, I'd like to note that this was all accomplished within about a day's worth of playtime, maybe even less. I accomplished all of this within 24 hours of playing this map. Um, we in fact started it yesterday. Today is the second time we played on it. I played on it from like, uh, I'm thinking around 5 o'clock to 1.30 in the morning. That's how long I played it. I know it seems like I have no life, but I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> So that's how long we played it today. Uh, yesterday we played it from like noon to like, I'd say, 
midnight. Yeah, so 12 hours. Yeah, so just under 24 hours we've accomplished all of this. And, um, yeah, I say it's pretty frickin' badass. Um, maybe in the future I'll go over some tutorials for BuildCraft, because I'm getting used to... Oh, I forgot to mention, over here we have our rubber tree farm. Um, not farming the rubber trees, just the rubber itself. Uh, which I should probably do soon, because I haven't done that in a while. But, um, yeah, this is just kind of like a little 10-minute video I guess I made, just to show you what I've been doing in Minecraft. I have... Um, like three versions of Minecraft on my computer right now besides this multiplayer tech it because the Technic launcher comes with all sorts of versions that like install themselves when you click on which version you want it's pretty pretty genius way of making a launcher because that way I don't know why he's flying what is he doing um that way I can you know turn on all the tech it mods and then when I'm done and I want to play single player I can turn on all the Technic mods, which is the single player version, and then it's all completely separate from my regular vanilla Minecraft, which has all my custom added mods like Thomcraft and uh, Twilight Forest. So I thought it was a pretty good idea. Um, so yeah, I have like four versions of Minecraft on my computer, and they are pretty much all separate. It's really nice. I like that. Um, I'm going to be starting 1.3 stuff. I think what I might do is I'm going to see about a few things. Now, I know in the past I've showed you videos and spoke of a really big project I was working on. I think I'm going to have to put that on hold for a while um, for a couple of reasons. One of them is I just don't have the resources to manage that at the moment. I don't have the time. It's incredibly time consuming. I've spent days working on that project, full days, and it's just not getting that much closer to being done um i'm getting things like things are progressing it's just it's not enough for me just me to handle at the moment so i'm gonna have to find people in the future that are willing to work on the projects with me so that's going to be put on hold um my diablo playthrough is going to continue soon uh i know it's been a really really long time when i played that but i've got a new microphone and headset now and hopefully everything sounds a lot nicer um i hope you notice that as you watch this video it sounds a little bit different than usual that's because uh, i have the diablo 3 headset it's fantastic um i'm going to be continuing my uh regular playthrough and if all of my mods do not get updated that i'm eventually going to have to Um, I'm eventually going to have to um, stop that playthrough in the future, and that's okay. But I think what I'm going to start doing is texturing some of these mods for John Smith. Um, I'm going to see if I can like contact him and tell him that I've made you know textures for a few mods after I've made them and show them to him. And if he likes it, maybe I'll be able to be like official texturizer for a couple of mods for him, because that'd be pretty cool. I've made a few textures for Thomcraft lovely <laughs> friend just knocked me off there i've made a few textures for thomcraft as i said before and they look pretty good i think they look legit um so i think what i'm going to do is make continue that and then i'll post it on his forum and if he notices it ka-ching profit question mark <laughs> um other than that i think i'm going to be starting let's build series uh simply because I think I should. I mean, I got some pretty good ideas when it comes to building. This building, this may not seem like much, but compared to what my friend Rob would have made, it would have looked like shit. Um, and no, it absolutely is not um, like amazing looking, and that's just because it's on creative. But uh, I have pretty good building skills. They're not. They're not like super duper amazing like holy shit how did you even think of that that's so original but you know i can make pretty awesome ideas um on uh, stuff to build and hopefully i'll come up with a few ideas i think what i'll do is i'll get inspiration from like castles or something stuff that everyone's already seen but i'll build it uh based on like pictures of castles in real life and then like or fantasy art even um and then i'll i'll build it in minecraft um and like make it fucking amazing looking in minecraft so i think that's what i'm gonna do i just have to have a few castles um to like 
get started with to see which ones would look nice and all that crazy stuff because um uh another channel i usually watch on youtube uh jamesy boy minecraft uh just a little shout out to him he he takes inspiration from like pictures i guess and uh i think that's pretty badass because like he's bringing those things into like life i guess you could say by creating them in minecraft where you can actually explore what these things would look like um and you know you could check out his uh channel it, for the four <laughs> fucking people that watch my videos you can like you know go over onto his channel and check it out he's um currently working on like a gothic build i guess and he just finished uh, a viking theme village and both of those were based off of uh, images he's seen and uh he explained that in one of his videos and i thought it was pretty awesome so i think i'm gonna start doing stuff like that so all in all uh just to give you a little summary of what i just said i got a little bit of tech it coming your way i got my regular minecraft playthrough coming your way I got a new build series coming your way, and I'm going to recontinue uh, Diablo 3 play series. Uh, let's play. Um, and uh, that's it for now. Um, I'm going to be a little bit more professional with my videos. I'm getting a, uh, a professional like intro to some of my videos done. It's going to be made uh, by myself, actually. And uh, I'll start, you know making my videos look a little bit nicer uh, and then um yeah uh, <laughs> I guess I'm just gonna stop right here and continue discontinue my ranting but um I just uh, I guess this is a little bit of a news update as much as it was on um, my show off of what I've accomplished in a day with Tekkit. Um out of a out of a 10 I would give Tekkit like uh, I'd say a, a 7. A 7 out of 10 for Tekkit. Simply because there's a lot of things that I feel are missing from Tekkit still. Um, but that's okay. Uh, Tekkit's pretty awesome nonetheless. And uh, yeah. Uh, well, so um, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time. Peace out, Chris the Nightbringer. Says goodbye. <laughs> um. So yeah, he made a tower. We had, um, you know, furnaces and chests in here, but then we decided to go underground for some reason and make a basement, and then our basement became, like, our main bedroom, and then it became our main storage area, and here's all the ores and gems we've collected so far. Uh, seven diamond. Those precious little things should be over in my chest. Uh, we've accumulated some decent stuff here, right? Um, I'll show you every ass spawning and a few things every once in a while, and changing his game mode to creative but it's okay um so here's our house we originally started with just this and then he wanted a tower not sure why so i built him a tower <laughs> um in case you're wondering this is a sfax pure bd uh texture pack it is the only texture pack available that has support for all of these mods which is the Tekkit bundle like i said earlier and uh you know i'll just show you around and show you what I've uh, we've accomplished obviously you could see the wall has been erected around the village to protect it and it's been lit up and stuff to prevent uh, creepers from well anything from spawning in here um, let's see uh, we have you know wheat farms and stuff like that it doesn't seem like there's many villagers left I have a cactus farm there's a chicken farm uh, over there, behind that building, is a cactus farm, because we need waterproof piping. Uh, there's my friend. Um, he seems to like cheating often, sometimes. It's really bugging me, because I wanted this to be uh, like a, a survival-only server, and he's been... Hello. Once again, uh, YouTube, Chris and I bring her here, bringing you some uh, Minecraft action. Uh, but in a different sense, this is uh, Tekkit. In fact, um, me and my friend have been uh, building a whole bunch of crap um, for the most part. For the most part, <laughs> uh, legitimately. Uh, we built a house over here in this village that we found in this desert. 